Hello, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I have a follow-up from the last video I did and this is every series I have not finished. Now I have sort of done this video before but that was series that I was procrastinating on so I'm not mentioning any of those books in this video but I will link that video up here if you would like to go check it out. Those are the series that I could have finished. I have all the books or I just like have been lazy in actually finishing that series but this is literally every series I haven't finished so these are in progress series that I've started recently. These are series that I need to reread because they finished ages ago and somebody's just released a new book. These are also series that I'm waiting on new releases for and I split them up into categories for you so we can sort of go through each reason of why I haven't finished them. This may not be a comprehensive list. Once again I've took my information from Goodreads. I have like notebooks on the floor. Um, I have some series that I need to read that I haven't got but yeah we're just gonna just gonna get into it and split the sections down and see what happens. So first up we're gonna go with the series that I am currently working on. So I've started these quite recently and I'm working on finishing them. So all the books are released and I'm just making my way through them as I go. So I said that I wasn't gonna mention any of the books from the last video. However, this is one that what I was procrastinating on and is now in progress. And that is the Confessions of Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Renison. This was my favourite book from childhood but I kind of grew up and then never read the last book in this series. I now have the last book and so I need to reread all of these to fully enjoy the conclusion of this series. I'm on the second book so far. I will be starting the third hopefully in July. I'm also currently working on Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. This is a YA desert fantasy. I didn't really love the first book and then the second book, the first 200 pages really disappointed me but the rest of it was phenomenal. So I'm expecting great things from the final book in this series and I'm hoping I love it and how gorgeous are these covers. Then we have the series I'm currently working on for the goal to read the oldest books on my Goodreads TBR and that is the Wolves of Mercy Falls series by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the first series I've ever read by Maggie Stiefvater and I'm loving her writing however there is not a lot of plot and it is very character driven, it's a paranormal romance and I don't feel like this story is going to stick with me. However the writing is good, it's pleasant to read. I like the audiobooks and so I'm going to continue with this series. Another series that I currently have in progress is the Slam series by Colleen Hoover. This is a new adult romance that focuses on slam poetry and the first book focuses on forbidden romance between a girl and her teacher. Then the second book kind of is from his point of view and it's the continuation of the story and then I believe the third book which is the one that I still need to read is his version of events from maybe the first book and previous to that. So I do only have the third book to read and maybe even by the time you watch this video I will have completed this series. So next we have the series that I need to reread to be able to continue on with the series. The first of these is the Wicked Year series by Gregory Maguire. I have read the first book Wicked and the second book Son of a Witch. I have to read Lion Among Men and what Whatever the fourth book is called. I wasn't super in love with this series and so I didn't continue on with it but I did feel really pretentious and accomplished when reading them because these books were so wordy and dense. I do own the third book now so I can continue but I would need to reread them and then the fourth book I would have to buy. So I'm not in a huge rush to finish this series but it is on here. Then we have two series by Meg Cabot. The first one is the Mediator series which is about a ghost hunter who falls in love with a ghost. Now I had previously completed this series but she has released a new book last year which is sort of like an adult continuation of the series. So this is now an unfinished series. I no longer own the books. I would like to read the last installment but I would have to reread them all. And the same goes for The Princess Diaries. Last year she also released an adult continuation of the series and I would have to reread them all and I don't own them because they are my, The Princess Diaries is my least favourite Meg Cabot series. So both of those have no installments and I need to reread the entire thing. Then I have the Wayward Children series by Sean and Maguire. I read the first one, Every Heart a Doorway, but I listened to the audiobook and I really did not like the audiobook narrator. So I would like to give these a try in physical format. This is still an ongoing series, but the reason I haven't completed it is because I lost interest. Like I said, I do want to give them another try, but I'm not really in any hurry to do that. So whenever these books fall into my hands, I will read them. However, for now, they're on hold. Then we have have the Walking Dead and I really can't remember who writes these. Is it Robert Kirkman? 
or is he the producer I don't remember but essentially I was reading this series and it's not completed but the reason that I stopped is because before season eight of the tv show started I had already read what happens in season eight of the tv show in the comics and it completely spoiled the show for me I do prefer the show to the comics so I've decided to stop reading them until The Walking Dead finishes and then I can carry on because I'd rather watch the show and be invested in that and enjoy the plot reveals that way than in the comics. And now we have the series that I haven't finished because I'm waiting on the releases. The first one of these is Otherworld by Jason Segal and Kristen Miller. This is a virtual reality sci-fi. A lot of people don't like it but I did enjoy it and that is because I don't have anything like Ready Player One to compare it to. I'm currently reading Ready Player One, but I haven't finished it yet. So I did enjoy it for what it was. I didn't think it was greatly written and there were a few flaws with it, but it was fun. I enjoyed it and I'd like to continue. Then we have Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I'm highly anticipating the next book in this series. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite books of all time and I just can't wait for it to continue. Saga by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. I have read all eight released volumes of this. I have pre-ordered volume nine absolutely love this. I never thought I would love a graphic novel series but I absolutely adore this and I'm excited to see where it goes. Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. There are three books in this series released. It is a seven book series about clairvoyance, psychics and mediums. Really enjoyed it. It's a very complex world, very political. Absolutely loved it. She has put it on hold and not released a book this year because she's releasing a standalone called The Priory of the Orange Tree which is Japanese inspired and has dragons and I'm really excited to read that but I am excited for this series to continue. I will need to reread them before I continue because with her not releasing a book in over a year I don't really remember and it is so complex that I really will need to refresh. Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I am currently rereading this series in anticipation for Kingdom of Ash. There is also going to be a collector's edition released and also a compendium encyclopedia type thing of the world called The World of Throne of Glass but I really like this series. I think it gets better the further on it goes. I know a lot of people preferred it before it sort of changed after Air of Fire but I really enjoy this and I'm so excited. Well, I'm excited and dreading to see how it ends because I'm a little bit terrified. Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Ah, oh, another thing. I finally got the UK hardback of this. It is on its way to me and I'm so excited. It only cost £25 as well. So like I'm, I'm thrilled. Unfortunately, the release of the last book in this series was pushed back to 2019. So I will not be completing this for a while. But as you all know, I absolutely love Nevernight and Mia and Trick and Ashlyn and everything to do with this. Jay Kristoff has become one of my favourite authors, even though I have only read Nevernight. I am waiting on my pre-order for Lifelike so I will be reading that soon but I love Jay and his writing and the brutality and sass and snark of this series. And then Everless by Sarah Holland. This was a debut book for this author and this was released in January this year I believe and it is a YA European fantasy where sort of life and blood is used as currency. It wasn't phenomenal but it was good enough that I'd like to continue and see where the series goes because I feel like it has a lot of potential. And then lastly, we have the series I haven't finished because I've DNF'd them. There aren't too many of these because I'm not a huge DNF'er and I will hate read a series just to say I've read it. But the first one of these is the Women Are Some Kind of Magic Poetry Duology by Amanda Lovelace. I enjoyed this but it wasn't anything special, not enough for me to want to go and pick up The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one. At some point I will be unhauling this and giving it to Ryan and I'm just not really interested in continuing. If the second book does fall into my hands I will probably read it because it'll only take an hour but I'm not going to go out of my way. Next we have Tiny Pretty Things by Donielle Clayton and Sonia Chip... I can't pronounce her name. Chipotra? Sonia Chipotra? This is a duology about a ballet school. I just didn't really like it. It was very bitchy, very fighty, and I was just eye rolling my way through it. We have a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. Now it is possible that I did read all of these when I was a child, but I know that I did read them out of order, if I did. Um, I did start to reread them, but they're just very repetitive. The plots are the same over and over and over again, and I just got bored and stopped it around the fourth book. The Curse Worker series by Holly Black. I've read two Holly Bl Black books now. One was a standalone, and then I tried the first book in this series. I've decided that Holly Black is not the author for me. She doesn't do a lot of world building, and I don't enjoy her books, so I won't be continuing with this one. And then we have the House of Night series by PC and Kristen Cast. I liked 
the premise of this book i thought it was a very unique take on vampires but the writing was bad and so i just couldn't continue and then the last one which is not necessarily a dnf but it is the archie comic i liked this but i've noticed that because graphic novel series are so big i will not continue unless i buy them physically and i just didn't love this one enough to buy it physically so it's not necessarily a dnf it's more of just on hold but I'm not continuing with it anytime soon. So that is everything for the series I have not completed yet. Please let me know your thoughts on any of these series. Also, please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. If you head into my description box below, you'll find a link to my Goodreads, Instagram, Twitter, and Curious Cat if you'd like to follow me on any of those, as well as a link to my Bookish Body Butter and Candle website, the Instagram for that, and also a 10% off discount code. That's it from me today. Bye! <laughs>